What is going on everybody? My name is Japes and welcome to what will be episode number one of my preparation for FIFA 14 series. So I think I'm probably going to just call it Let's Prepare for FIFA 14 because I want you guys to prepare with me. But it's going to be a very path to power, well it's essentially going to be a path to power style series focused on the fundamentals of FIFA. So what's or the fundamentals of FIFA that have kind of been here game in and game out that will allow you to kind of set yourself up for maybe having an advantage going into the game. You know, some things that in my experience have worked game in and game out. Now I've played 14 and some of the things still are going to work. You know, there are certain skill moves that over and over and over again are going to be effective. So we're going ahead. We're getting my team started here. And I really wanted to put in Talk Dirty for fee or for 14, but I ran out of spaces, so that was impossible. So we went with the standard Dirty Talk. I couldn't help myself, as I'm sure some of you guys will understand. So I wanted to put in DT14, and that didn't work. So I just went with DRT for Dirty. And uh, that is going to be our team. And we're going to claim our starter pack. And I went with Benzema this time because I don't think I've actually ever really seen someone go with Benzema. And in my previous ones, I think I went with the Bundesliga both times. So that is why I decided to switch it up a little bit. I skipped the game because I really didn't need to play that. And I'm going to go ahead and... I am going to uh, essentially financially take my squad over. So I took... The 75,000 coin that I had from a pr the previous Path to Power, and I bought uh, that guy on this account. Now, you're going to say, why on earth would you do that? You know, some of the fun is trading up, and that's true. And we're going to go into trading principles, principles without a doubt. However... Uh, I wanted to be able to compete and compete well right away from the beginning. Plus, it's kind of fun to have some coins in this late into 13. Everybody is going to have some coins. And if you don't, uh, well, then we'll work out ways for you to get them very, very quickly. Because the trading methods that I'll do to start are going to be ones that will apply right away when you get to 14. Now, it's going to be a little bit different. So once 14 hits, then I will, uh, well, you'll have to stay tuned to my channel. So... I don't want to give it all away just in one episode. So I'm going through and I'm picking up a silver Bundesliga side. Now I'm going to be using the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. Now, the reason that I'm going to use the 4-1-2-1-2, and I would recommend that you give it a shot as well, is because traditionally in all of the past FIFAs, it has been uh, maybe not the best, but in the top, say, three formations and definitely in the top two, say, most balanced formations on Ultimate Team. And so getting a, I guess, fundamental understanding of this formation is a very, very good thing to do. Uh, to improve your overall FIFA skills because, you know, you're playing with your an attacking mid and a defensive mid. And obviously, a 3-5-2 works that way, but you can become reliant on those two defensive mids kind of sitting in the back. But you also get to make use of your left back and right back attacking from or uh, moving, pressing forward and attacking. It's just a very good uh, formation to kind of, I don't know, you get every position on the game except the left forward, right forward. But I still kind of feel like you have a left wing, right wing. Uh, it's it's just a good formation, and it's the one that I started with when I first started playing 13 at the beginning of this year. Um, and I think it's the one that I ended with at the end of last year. So that's not to say that I will be sticking with this formation for the series. That is absolutely not true, because I'm going to go ahead and probably experiment with most, if not all of them, hopefully before FIFA 13 comes out, because I don't even think that I've used all of them uh, yet this year. So we're going through, we're building our squad, and I'm going to introduce you to the squad at the end of the episode, because I forgot to take the time to introduce the squad at the very beginning, but there are a few Bundesliga players that I hadn't tried out yet, and so... That is one of the things that I decided, hey, I want to go ahead and do that because some of these guys might be good players to look at next year. And what I mean by that is if there's a player that's got some stats that you like right here and he's a young player, the more you might know about real football, the more he might be a gem in the future game. So it's kind of one of those things to think about. You know, transferred players are always going to be that, but silvers end up being very, very pricey always at some point in ultimate team. So getting a little bit of play time with some of the transferred players and the transferred players are always going to be good because their ratings are generally going to be the best indicators of what their rating might be in next year's ultimate team but anyways on to more about this silver bundesliga team uh every one of my attackers has three star skills now why did i do that um i did that because the three star skills are really your basic skill moves that are always 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 
uh, I don't know, maybe not the most effective, but they're in that second, they're not god skill moves per se, but they're in that first tier of skill moves, and I guess you'd go god tier, first tier, second tier, third tier, I guess that's a League of Legends term for those of you guys that play, uh, but they do it in terms of champions. Now, the you know the god tier skill moves in every FIFA, the chop, I would say, is one of those skill moves that's just stupid, stupid effective. And previously in FIFA, the Magidi spin was probably up there. I love step overs personally, but they're probably in the first tier. Because if you see a step over coming or kind of know a player's only got three-star skills, you can prepare yourself for those three-star skill moves. However, a lot of people don't take that into consideration. So one of the things that's always good to know is... You know, how many skill moves does the guy have that I'm going up against? And the strikers that you see all the time, you know, your Brazilian pace strikers, your Wellington, your Pato, everybody is going to know exactly how many skill moves those guys have. But some of the lesser known ones that still have some pretty good stats, people kind of scratch their head and they're like, whoa, whoa, I didn't, I really wasn't expecting that move. Does he only have three star or do I need to prepare for a chop? Things like that. I guess these are basic uh, tips that could have been given out at the very beginning of FIFA, and I probably have given out uh, at one point or another. But our squad is complete. We're filling the bench with the cheapest silver 41212 Bundesliga players that I could get my little paws on. And I spend way, way too much on a morale card, but I figured, hey, I transferred over what ended up being 71,400 coins after tax. I might as well just go out and get this show on the road because I wanted to play a game. I wanted to play my first game back. Now, some of you guys are going to say, Japes, you played a game back in your, uh, you know, uh, or you said that you played a game back while you were recording just some basic pass power stuff. And that's true. So it's not quite my first game back, but it is my first game back. And I'm going to call it, I'm going to call it uh, repopping my cherry for the very, well, uh, I, don't, I don't really know where I'm going with that. So we're going to keep on moving on with that one and uh take this in and we come it takes us a little while to find an opponent we're in division five now the reason i built a silver team is because there's a silver tournament going on right now and i very much want to compete in that rumor has it if you win the tournament three times the prizes go up each time and if you guys know me i'm very into winning uh i much prefer tournaments and i love the fact that the prizes go up each time you win it i think that is very very cool so on we go. We finally found our opponent, STKFC, and he has a hodgepodge of players. A little bit of chemistry, but not too much. Maximilian Beister, uh, who many of you guys know is one of my favorite silvers on the game. And that's part of the reason that I went with the Bundesliga Silvers is because their 3-5-2 team that I have over on my main account they are so, so much fun to play with. And I try essentially, well, I use some of the core players from that team. Well, actually, yeah, some of the core players from that team I used on this team. Beister, So, Puki, uh, Kirkhoff, I think are the the main ones that I used. I didn't go with Hongmin Sun, who goes back to Road to Glory on a FIFA 12 for me. But this guy I really wanted to try out. Inui, he is a Japanese attacking mid. And for the life of me, I can't remember what team he plays for right now. I believe it is... Uh, what team does he play for? Uh, I believe he plays for Frankfurt, uh, but don't quote me on that if you want to check him out. He's three-star skills and four-star weak foot, so he's default set as a, a right-footed player. So that goal right there, using the three-star skill moves effectively is a fantastic goal off of his left foot. And again, he's going to pick up the ball right here just in f before halftime. And it's again, it's just little changes of direction. It's those three-star skills that are so, so good. And one of the skills, the roulette at the end there, when people get nervous that you're going to fire a shot, because I definitely could have shot after that first skill move. If I'd gone towards the far post, there would have been a chance that that would have gone in, and the guy got nervous, and he slid. Now, this guy wasn't an exceptionally strong player, but he was okay. He didn't really have the chemistry to keep up with a 100 chemistry silver team with plenty of pace. You can see right there, he's kind of put his... Uh, controller down then he decides he's gonna play and it's already too late for him at that point because so puts it away no questions and no problems and I believe so transferred in January actually so I believe he's in the French League One right now so if you have League uh silvers you can also go out and pick him up but uh our man Inui which is actually kind of a fun name to say He's a beast, and I would recommend trying him. I was unaware. I don't know if he's a newly transferred player. I've never heard about him, don't know a thing about him, but saw him on the market, thought, hey, those stats those stats look kind of tasty. I think I'd like to try it. His stats, 81 pace, 77 dribbling. So when, I look, when it comes to silver players for me, and this will be the same thing in 14, when I look for what silver players I think I might be able to make a profit on, 
pace and dribbling are the two stats that are most important to me uh, for attackers especially. And that's just because that means that they're going to be able to keep up with gold players. Now, they've introduced some of the different chemistry systems going into 14. So there are going to be little intricacies and things that affect that. So that'll be interesting to see how all of that plays out. But that is the way we're going to end the first match. My first match back, 6 to nil. I was pretty darn pleased with that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and now meet the team. You can see our striker. We've got so 88 pace, 73 shooting, uh, 72 passing, and something high 70s dribbling. we got Timu Puki. You probably know about him. This is Inui. So one game played, four goals scored. I paid 2,000 coins for him at a 4-1-2-1-2. He was very, very much fun to play with. Zoltan Stieber as our left mid. Maximilian Beister, which is just a fantastic name as well, as our right mid. He's only got two-star skill moves, so no roulettes for him. But he's incredibly pacey, and he's a wonderful, wonderful left foot. We've got Du Richa, which... <laughs> Du Richa. And uh, we've got Felipe, who many people have recommended me to me before, but I had never used him. Uh, he's a fantastic center back. Young Kirchhoff, who actually plays for Bayern now. And I would have paid way, way more for a Bayern card of his, but I could not find it. So I had to go with his previous Mines card. It is what it is. But I want to say thank you guys for your support on my return. Thank you all for watching. We'll have a little challenge action out tomorrow. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.